Hey everyone, it is Nancy Ann and today we are unboxing Drape Fit. Hey everybody, it is Nancy Ann and Ruger. We want to invite you to our unboxing and try on of Drape Fit. Drape Fit is a lower priced clothing or styling subscription box. I will leave all of the cliff notes for you on how to get your own fit down in the drop down box. If you need help finding that, let me know in the comments and I will tell you how to locate that. Also, if you use my referral link, you will save $25 off of your first fit. That's what they call these boxes, and so will I. So oftentimes, um, lately, I haven't been actually unwrapping the bundle, but because Drape Fit is a little bit new to the scene and not everybody knows what it is, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and unbox with you this time. I did get a preview of the items. Oddly enough, I was not able to contact the um the stylist uh, they said leave her a note but i couldn't figure out how to do that i think i have in the past so i need to look in there to that and figure out what's going on drape fit does give you some interesting things sometimes and the brands are not as high end as other boxes but then again the prices aren't as high so if you want to be able to have something delivered to you in your home and the convenience of that this is a really good way to go i am going to give them several more tries i've only unboxed them once before and see uh, if they don't start conforming to my style and what happens. I thought that could be fun for all of us. So one thing they did include, again, I didn't get any input, <laughs> is a low heeled socks. And believe it or not, I need low heel socks. So I'm gonna do a little investigating on this brand, Bright Star Athletics, and see if they're any good. And I probably will be picking those, or to keeping those. Can't speak English today. Let's get into, the bundle is always really well wrapped with drape fit, so there is no burrito, <laughs> clothing burrito to show you. And really gorgeous paper. It says drape fit in gold across the black. Very well done. Let's see what we have. There's a bundle. I normally like to try and slide it out, a little hard to do. So here's the colors. We got a little floral in there. Uh, different patterns, so let's Take a quick look and then we'll get into the try on. This is an off whitish, not my best color. See, it's very off whitey colored. And this is a, it's a jumpsuit with spaghetti straps. But I will say the spaghetti straps are adjustable. So we'll see how that works. I have three jumpsuits. I don't think I'm gonna like that color, but we'll see. Here's a pretty little necklace. Let's go ahead and pull that out now. Oh, lots of pretty colors on it. And it looks like it's got a stone. Where are we? There we go. On the back. Ooh, there we go. Sorry, it took me a minute to get adjusted there. Uh, Multicolored chains right there. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take this out in case I don't keep it, in case I send it back. Oof, sorry, I'm all over the place. Uh, but otherwise I would try it on, but it does have that little white stone on the end and then the multicolored there. I just wanted to give you a close look at it. Now, while I'm unboxing, back into the garments, here we have... This is a shirt in a really pretty bright floral. Very pretty, just a simple V-neck. What do we got here? This is black. It's a black something. It's a shirt. It's a top. It's a basic black t-shirt right there with a v-neck. Kind of a wide, wide, um, what is that? The, the hem around the, the neck. I sew. I should be able to tell you what that is. I'm drawing a blank. Red. Oh boy. These must be capris, but you know what? These look awfully tiny to me. What do you think? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get those on and they're probably more like leggings. We'll see. I wish I could have had some input on this box. Oh, this is pretty. This is an off-white top. It has polka dots. It's like a little bit of a ruched at the sleeve. We'll take a look at that. That's hopeful. And we have a very polyester-y feeling, I mean like the rough polyester, 
pair of paper bag pants it looks like with a couple of buttons right there we'll see how these look not sure how i feel about these but we'll take a look okay we'll be back in just a second for a try on the first piece from the box is this jumpsuit. Now the stylist note was very succinct and uh, to the point, and I very much appreciate that. She suggested wearing it with the necklace. I'm not gonna take the necklace out of the packaging in case I don't keep it, but I do appreciate that she told me which piece she intended on me wearing with this. I'm already seeing improvements in drape fit from the first box I did several months ago. Um, this is really comfortable. I'm surprised that it feels like a fairly good quality. Uh, even though it's less expensive and drape fit, this one feels really good. It has adjustable uh, spaghetti straps, like I said when I showed it. So I was able, when I showed it out of the box, so I was able to make the torso fit lengthwise for me. It's also adjustable at the drawstring waist that goes all the way around. It's a true drawstring, so you can make it as big or as small as you need it. It's a little tight th for me through the hips, but it is fully lined all the way down to short level. How cool is that? The fabric does look like it could wrinkle a little bit, so uh, maybe I could have thrown it in the dryer just to puff it up just a little bit and loosen some of those wrinkles. But overall, I think this is a cute little jumpsuit. Let's take a look at the price and the brand. I think the brand's on the inside of the tag and I didn't look at that, but they're calling it the Casual Jumper. It is a size large, 10 to 12 in cream, and the price is $59.99 which for a jumpsuit isn't, isn't bad at all. So there we go. I like it, it's cute. Alrighty, let's find something else to put on. Well, the next outfit up is this pair of paper bag waist pants. Another item I thought for sure I was going to dislike. Um, they do have that very rough polyester type feel that I remember the pants were like that, especially my grandma's pants back in the 70s, but I don't think the styling is bad on them at all. It has a little button here on each side of the waist. Looks like a little tab with a button. Those are purely decorative. And they're kind of a skinny jean shape. I'll turn around and let you see the back. Not sure how these fit me. I suspect they are tight, but I think, I think the styling on these is really cute, actually. I don't know that I, that I mind them. The shoes, by the way, came from my Amazon haul last month. And let's move on to this cute little top. It is an off-white with little black dots on it, uh, high neck. I like that the V, well, that V, that V's kind of low, isn't it? It has a little bit of, uh, oh, a lapel, a little bit of a lapel on it. I like this top. It's got adorable little puff sleeves with the ruching. So this, this feels like a nice little top. I just, I really like it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I don't know. I'll look at my wardrobe and see what I think, but this might be staying with me. Alrighty, let's take a look at some prices here. Let me find these items. Oh, these are the women's textured knit high-waisted pleat pant in size large, 10 to 12. The color is brown and they're $29.99. I don't normally wear brown, but I don't know, maybe. I'll take a look at the footage. If they don't look too tight, I might hang on to them because this might be a nice addition to my wardrobe for something just a little bit dressier than jeans. And then we have the, oh, this isn't floral. Neck band placket dot print woven top in size 12. It's a large 10 to 12 white $28.75. So as you know, for these boxes, that is a pretty good price. That This jumpsuit, by the way, that's the most expensive item I have seen in any drape fit unboxing I've watched so far at $59.99. So that gives you an idea this is a more budget box. I did bring my prices up with them though, um, up a notch just to give the stylist more choices for me. I will also say I'm normally a large, a small, <laughs> no. I'm normally a medium, I'm gonna hit my size in a minute, uh, in tops, and this one is a large, and I think it's hitting me correctly. So um, I think sometimes in less expensive brands, they tend to fit a little bit smaller, so bear that in mind if you order a fit for yourself. But so far, I think we're doing pretty good here. Let's see what else is next. Next up, we have this really pretty kind of a tropical print 
uh, v-neck top. It's almost the exact style neck as the last top. This one I think doesn't go down quite as low. I like that it's a little bit more modest. It is really long. It is very, very swingy and swishy. Hides a multitude of sins, nice and loose through the waist. I don't think it's incredibly unflattering on me, which typical this kind of silk, typically this type of silhouette is. It goes down nice and low in the back, hides my bum, which I am really grateful for because these pants are so tight. Ugh, okay, these really fit like a legging. They are bright red. Um, wouldn't normally put bright red on the bottom of me, but bright red and top tight, I, that's just not happening. I actually wondered for a minute if I was gonna get them on, but then I realized they were just supposed to fit really tight. They do have pockets in the back. There we go. They're shallow pockets, they're small. I'm not turning all the way around because I'm really self-conscious about these. Um, and then they have pockets in the front. I think they even have a little, yeah, they're five pocket styling. They even have a little coin pocket right here. So let's take a look at what these two items are. Hmm, this is the women's cotton blend five pocket skinny capri jean in red size large 10 to 12 or $28. I'm having a hard time buying that these are cotton. I'm gonna see if I can remember to take a look at the fabric content when I take this off. Um, and this is the floral sleeveless v-neck blouse also in a size 10 large 10 to 12, $27.75. Mental note to self, <laughs> move your sizes up on the pants with with drape fit. Anyway, it's a cute little outfit. I just don't think it's right for me. Let's be come back with one more top. I can't tell you the fabric content on the pants because I'm still wearing them. I was going to put this t-shirt on with my pants and then I realized they were black and you wouldn't be able to see any detail. So this is uh, it's just a basic black Tea. The brand is Ambiance. I did manage to get a look at the brand on this one. It is $24.99. I like the v-neck. It's very soft. It is not see-through. A cute little tee. It's just got a typical t-shirt length on the back. Goes down about mid-bum. But I think the price is probably a little bit high for a basic tee. I already have a couple of black tees uh, up in my closet, so I don't need this. And again, I think this one might be priced a little bit high. Alrighty, I'm going to put my own clothes back on and we'll be back for a quick wrap up. I did want to mention as we start rounding this up um, that the both the necklace, which is all bunched up here, and the socks are $19.99. I'm going to check the brand on these socks again and check and see the quality. I'm, I'm wanting to replace socks right now that are slipping off my heel when I walk. Have you had that happen? Driving me crazy. If these won't do that, I think picking up um, six pairs of socks for 20 bucks is pretty darned good. The order subtotal on all of this was $239.45 for all eight items. If you keep everything, you save 25%. So the keep all discount would be $59.85 for the uh, discounted subtotal of $179.59. They do add sales tax and your $20 styling fee does apply back. Now, I don't know if they credit that back or if they give it to you in the form of a gift card. I have a gift card, but I wonder if that's just for content creators. So either way, you're gonna have 20 bucks what you spent to apply back towards your order. Let's quickly run through the items. I checked the fabric content on the red pants. They are indeed 68% cotton. They felt very polyesterish to me, 27% poly and 5% spandex. And I think that's really cool because it will be cooler in the summer. The black tea is a fine tea. It's actually a good quality tea. I don't need another black tea. And I think maybe it's a little bit overpriced at $24.99, but possibly not. Again, the brand was ambiance. Oh, brand on the jeans. I'll have all these items listed below, by the way. So you can ask your drape fit stylist. This is Yolette or Yoletti. On the, on the red pants for them. I'll list everything down below. Um, there is no brand that I can find on the V-neck blouse. This is not really my style. I'm not wild about the colors, but I can see where this would work for a lot of people. I think it looked really good with the pants, just not for me. Then we've got the jumpsuit, which by the way is the most expensive item I've seen in any Drapa fit unboxing I've watched. I've only done two, this is only my second, so I don't have that much experience. But 
Uh, it's $59.99. That's the most expensive item I've seen. This is actually a terrific jumpsuit. It is lined on the bottom to short length, which I find absolutely amazing, very soft and comfortable. And the brand is June and Hudson. I already have two jumps, three jumpsuits, and I think that one was probably a little bit snug. So I'm going to pass on that, but maybe you'd like it. Then we've got the brown pants. I did take a quick look back at the footage. Uh, and they don't look too tight to me, I don't think, but they're not feeling very summery. So I think I'm going to send them back. The brand is Show Show. Um, but I do think the styling on these was great, particularly with this adorable off-white top with polka dots. I really like this one. The brand is Vine and Love. I think I may be keeping that. So this is in the running. The socks, I'll check the brand. I think they're probably going to stay. And... Um, those are the two items I'm thinking of keeping. What do you think? What did you think of this fit? I would love some feedback from you and I want to thank everyone so much for joining me on my second Drape Fit unboxing. This was a lot of fun and I so much appreciate that you spent a little bit of your day with me. We will see you on the next unboxing. Bye bye and be blessed. Are you in the middle of the room because you're afraid of the rain? Huh? You're a pit bull. You're not supposed to be afraid of the rain. I know, it's so frightening. Okay, okay, get a good stretch. That's a good boy. Okay, can mommy record now? I'll just work around you, partner.